whiskey votes. <laughs> Daniel. Rex. <sighs> Still not recovered. Hi. I'm good. It was fine. No. So good. I know this is coming out in November. Volunteer. You're a volunteer. <laughs> I know this is coming out in November, this episode, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But we're shooting it yes. right after the Bastards Ball. Well, hold on. Two points of clarification. Yeah. Right after. It's the Wednesday after the Bastards yeah. Ball was on a Sunday. It feels like right after. And also, it's formally known as Bastards yeah, Ball. If you were true. paying attention, I it's did get several hundred fun. Magnificent Bastards chanting in unison, mm. the new name shall be Mooch Fest. Okay. Well, to ease the pain, we're going to drink... Did you chant? No. You need I rolled my eyes aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr I was trying to do it stage level, where you're like overly dramatic. You can't roll hard enough. Even it's that tsunami of mood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even for the cheap seats, you can see I was rolling my eyes. Just a whole head. Yeah, my whole... <laughs> 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 like it's how Bono rolls his eyes. <laughs> it puts everything into it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right. Whiskey, there's whiskey. Apparently. Yeah, to ease the pain a little, we're gonna start off what pain? with uh, a gift from Magnificent Bastard Michael Beak. Michael Beak, you magnificent bastard! <laughs> this is a Gordon McPhail 14 year old Longmorn single barrel. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It might not be a single barrel. So, Longmorn is one anyway. of Daniel's favorite whiskeys. Yeah. And you have not had this one? Or I have, have not had this one. And, I think it might be, yep. Yeah. I can't remember if they do single cask. Anyway. Okay, the distiller's malt. Okay, yeah. The distillery that makes whiskey so nuanced and good that all the other distillers in Scotland know of it as a gold standard of Speyside. Right. So we've equated it to uh, like the, it's a distillery's distiller. Kind of like you'll hear about comedians like, oh, they're not, they're story, not world yeah. famous, comedians. but they're a comedian's comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a musician's musician. People that are in the industry are very familiar with him and very, they, there's a lot of respect named in this direction, and what you're saying is Longmorn's in a similar mm -hmm. position. 20, uh, 14 year old. Yeah. That fruity maltiness, man. It's just the fruitiness that really jumps out. So this is... And it's... Sherry and bourbon mixed. It's... Uh, barrels, aging barrels. Trying, there's a sweetness, there's an added level of sweetness, but it doesn't get into a sugary, candy desserty sweetness but it's beyond natural fruit sweetness it's concentrated almost is that i feel it? like ripe it fruit is, concentrate i feel like it's if you mixed ripe fruit with with tiny marshmallows oh, not yeah. enough marshmallow that it's charred marshmallow and like overly big huge chewy but the little baby marshmallow mixed in with fresh fruits yeah or dried fruits not fresh fruits dried fruits so and then there is that malt right. must grain forward note so this, the nose that I'm getting, this isn't like wildly off the beaten path. This, mm -hmm. this seems very familiar to me. Yeah. With a lot of other, a lot of your other uh, sweet scotches. The thing that's really um, notable mm -hmm. isn't, you know, the, the, the types of notes, I'm still mm -hmm. in the nose, but the types of flavors that I'm getting out of here. Um, it is usually whenever there's something that has probably similar notes, similar kinds of fruitiness, mm -hmm. but if it's cheaper, um, maybe the proof wasn't ideal. There's a bit of more of a twang on the nose. Mm -hmm. And it feels thinner or shinier. Yeah. yeah. This has density and has complexity, but if I had one word for this a nose, full body, it yeah. would be balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you're smelling mm -hmm. presents as this cohesive, balanced whole, and it's only 43%. I think that's probably one of the most difficult things to pull off in whiskey because it's so rare. Usually in most whiskeys, there's gonna be a flavor that's gonna jump out and grab you first. Uh, and then all the other flavors are there, but you have to kind of get your way around that one to find the other stuff. Now I just this got a weird- This several things all in unison. Grapes and almonds. A weird combo of grapes and almonds. Uh, like, yeah, like the, the almond shavings. Yeah, the but, with, thin but with purple grapes. Yeah, 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 it's a really nice one. I'm going in. Oh, it feels thick. Oh, and it has it. It has that hint of black pepper yeah. in the back. 
Right and that it. is wow. what I loved about the 16 that they used to release. That is super good. That is nuanced. It's not boring. Right. This is uh, only 43%. Yeah. Only 43% to have that much body and complexity and density and flavor. And then, yeah, that because you were finding that in the original Longmorn. Yeah, but not with, in the re-release. Yeah, not with a purple. And I haven't found it in any of the other independent bottlings yeah, of yeah, Longmorn, yeah. but this one got it. This was... Gold. That is good. Gaw. Mm. Now, it is a lighter palette. It does taste 43. Like, I would, from sipping this, I would guess low 40s. But it doesn't taste boring or thin. It I would just say, tastes soft. I was going to say 46. Mm. This seems like... Um, now there's two. I would have guessed 40. What? Yeah. Wow. Have you had whiskeys yet? Today? Yeah. No. Okay. Coffee? Yes. But I always drink coffee before I'm doing whiskey things. All right. That's really nice. And then the sweetness does lose a little bit of a step the more you go back to it. Mm -hmm. The maltiness starts to come more into its own. Mm. All right. That's super that is nice. That is super good. Yeah, we need, can we have a lot more of these? Is this uh, like a limited edition thing? Yes, that's it. That's the only one. Yeah. You want to fall in love with the whiskey, just get something that you'll never be able to get another bottle. Your brain will make you just really enjoy Really, it. I really love it. Right. Yeah. This is the best thing I've ever had. Where do you, yeah. Oh, God, I can never get it again. <laughs> ben Helms, I don't get it. I thought it was a September thing. Now it's a new month, and they still won't do scotch. WTF. This guy has commented a couple of times, and it right. makes me laugh. Right. Because it's a... Uh, you know how this works. All right? I want to say is, you must be new here. You know how this works. <laughs> because people, if people you, send stuff. Yeah, you know? if you've actually watched for a while, you know yeah. that I'm famous for preferring scotch. Annoyingly so. And uh, <laughs> We'll be in like a bourbon tasting. We both really enjoy bourbon. I think I like bourbon yeah. more than Daniel. You do. Yeah. And <laughs> But I also really like scotch. We'll be tasting the bourbon, talking about bourbon. Nobody's talking about scotch. You know, you go, oh, it's good. What other scotches I like better? What the f man? Yeah. This is bourbon thing. Every chance I this get. This is bourbon people. <laughs> Every chance I get. God. Uh, but we had a comedian at Bastard's Ball. It was, it was more funny than it was awkward. But then I find awkward things funny. Uh, he said, who here really loves bourbon? And, uh, you know, about half the people put up their hand. And then who here prefers scotch? And people go, yeah. So, you know, it was the other half, but they were much more. They were much louder. Much louder. Yeah. And then you realize all of like the dozen distillers surrounding the entire crowd, they're all American distillers except for Teeling. Yeah, but you know, more than half of them were pouring malt. Oh, really? More than half. I thought it was like, oh my God, these. Yeah, I know. Those are all pouring their bourbon in this. You just heard people. No, you had Talanua was pouring a malt. Uh, right. Real uh, uh, so, Balconas. Uh, malt and bourbon. Mm -hmm. yeah, both. Yeah. So both, <laughs> both. Yeah. 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 So send a scotch, dick whistle. No, actually, don't. We're not doing No, that. no, don't, don't send don't, anything. Don't do that. I take it back. Hey, by the way, our communication in year, worked. In a year, send a no. scotch, maybe. No. To me, care no. of yeah. Mooch Fest. That's fine. 2022. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dude, the shipment stopped. Go. 100%. Nice. Yes. You're, you're it worked. You're listening. It's you awesome. you actually listened. That's great news. All right, let's buckle down. We got like, what, 11 more months to go? No, it's actually, now it's 13. I did the math. The Bastards Ball took it to 13, dude, crawling into did 14. The, did people still bring us though? Yeah. Yeah, but they asked if they could. Again, They're like, hey, I wasn't planning on mailing it because I was planning on being at the Bastards Ball. Well, you keep saying Bastards Ball, though. Yeah. That's because it was the Bastards Ball. But it's, it's Mooch Fest. It no. used, it used to be. The next one is the Mooch Fest. It used to be Bastards Ball. Mm. No, it's retroactive. There's so much no. power in Mooch Fest. No. Did you hear? You can't retroactive. Did you hear the chanting? You can't you? retroactive. <laughs> uh, formerly known as Bastards Ball. <laughs> Jerk Elkman. Hey guys, love from Netherlands. Oh. I was just thinking about the heads, the hearts, and the tails. Is it like 10% head, 80% heart, 10% tails? Or is it more like 30% heart? I love what you're doing. Keep up. So I, it's there's like a gradient in between. There these. is. But if I was going to answer the question as to as, it tends to be 30, 40% hearts for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but it's one of the decisions that a distiller is making. Is, right. Yeah. Well, where is our heart cut going to be? They can go right. high in the heads, low in the tails. Yeah. Uh, that's really super good and great. And I like to drink it with my face. Me too. 
Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. With us.